a what's good fly squad first off shout out noti squad for coming through off the early y'all already know today we got something to talk about it's about nba live 21 season so we might as well start chopping it up talking about what nba live 21 is supposed to be now one thing i will say when it comes to nba live and nba 2k personally i feel like neither game gets it right when it comes to how you build your character so this is what NBA Live 21 is supposed to be when it drops. But before I get too far into this video, tell a hater what? Worry about yourself. Sham Garden, I spin. And one, we up 10. Rob son like Glenn. On ball defense. I am the one you can crown as the king. I compete for the goal and I win in the ring. And you travel on court and vacation in the spring. Give a moment of silence. I'm getting my bling. Call me fly guy and respect me as such. With a mom by my side, I'm Kobe in the clutch. And one thing you can't mention or say or discuss is this lottery pick is the label the bug. Shout out to the bro Joe Numbers for that intro. I swear. That's one of my throwback intros, and I'm not going to sit here and hold you. Probably one of my best ones. Keep it 100 with you. Now, before we get into regularly scheduled programming, make sure you go ahead and sub to the channel if you are new. Turn on your notifications and like the video. It really helps your boy out. But today, we're going to be getting into what the player building system should be on NBA Live 21. So let's jump right into it. First, you already know you can pick your gender on NBA Live. That's already a step ahead of NBA 2K currently, but I'm pretty sure NBA 2K and NBA 2K21 will have the same option. So you pick your gender. Cool. That's great. That's wonderful. You actually build your player's head, hair, face, and all that good stuff. You can do that. The one thing that I do not like about NBA Live is once you actually select your head, yeah, no, you can't really mold it there's no molding the head right there one you really need to be able to let us control how we actually have our players head shape ears eyes ev pretty much everything choose our eye color that's that's basic stuff and i think you already have it in ufc games and other games as well especially madden you're able to sculpt the person's head yeah you can't face scan it madden but still you can do a little bit more when it comes to customization of the player's head now i'm gonna keep it a mean green jelly bean with y'all NBA Live has better hairstyles than NBA 2K. NBA 2K's hairstyles are trash. They don't have no, not one. Matter of fact, I'm lying. They have one. And it's the Caesar with the waves. And that's all they have that's actually decent. Everything else is pretty trash. NBA Live does have better hairstyles. But once again, they shoot themselves in the foot because they don't allow you to change your own hair color. You actually have to go with a preloaded, pre stock hairstyle or hair color and that's not what i want to do in nba live personally i want to be able to choose what i have as a hair color choose my hairline pretty much customize everything from the top to the bottom when it comes to my hair now personally for somebody that can't grow facial hair like myself not a lot of it anyway i just get a mustache and this thing right here that's that's about it i still want to be able to customize my color my length and all that good stuff but on top of that I don't think mustaches and beards should be part of one category. I think they should actually be separated. Facial hair shouldn't be just one category. It should be mustaches and how you actually want everything to connect from there. It should be a whole different category. And that's just my opinion. And again, this is just the looks. We haven't even gotten to the nitty gritty yet. I don't know about y'all, but this is the worst part of the building process. You can choose a guard, a wing, or a big. My issue with that is that there's point guards, there's shooting guards, there's small forwards, there's power forwards, and there's centers. This makes it look like there's only three different positions. Even on guard, it says point guard, shooting guard. Those are not interchangeable positions. I'm sorry, they're not. This is one thing that they had in NBA Live 16, but took it out for NBA Live 18. No, bring this back. You should actually be able to choose your position. If I want to play for the Lakers, I should be able to play with LeBron, and I'm a shooting guard. But in this game, you cannot do that. That is something that is completely broken, completely messed up, needs to be fixed ASAP. Now you look right here, you select your position. Let's say, for example, it's a guard. You have a backcourt shooter, a slasher, a backcourt defender, and a floor general. Those are your only options as a guard. Those are the only ones, only options you have. And then you only have five categories that you can upgrade. What? What? No, I'm sorry. I want to be able to upgrade each and every category that I have. Don't get me wrong. I don't feel like you should be able to max out every category. But for example, I, if I have like a driving layup that's going to be a 95, maybe that takes away like 
I don't know, takes away my rebounding or something like that. I don't know. Maybe something like that. It really should, there should be certain attributes that take away from other attributes. I don't know, but I really don't feel like right now that this is the best process. Right now, NBA 2K kind of has it where you can upgrade what you want, but at the same time, like you can't be a, a really good shooter and a good defender. Yes, there's two-way sharps, but like in real life, Klay Thompson has like a 90-something shot. Real life. Let's let's be let's keep it 100. A 90-something shot, and his defense is gonna be I, I want it, let's say an 88. On 2K, you can't do that. You can't. There's no way to do it. Like players are half they're 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 decent at two different things on 2K. Where in live, they're decent at two different things. They're not, they're not great at anything. So I really feel like you should be able to balance your players out the way you want to be able to balance them yes there should be caps yes there should be ways to actually avoid demigods but right now neither game is doing it right at all next you have your icon ability which i feel like is a good concept where you kind of mimic your game around a specific player however there's no reason why i have to i should choose between specific attributes just because i chose to be a good point guard there's no reason for that like i get halfway decent only an 85 passing i feel like steph curry's passing is a little bit higher than an 85 but if i choose the chef icon guess what i only get an 85 passing now if i decide i want to be able to finish a little bit i get 85 inside shot with ray allen sniper but my thing is why don't i get that same finishing with steph curry's build like steph curry can finish inside see that's where there's a disconnect that's where it really does it matter what you choose and it's like wh why 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 does why is this a thing why is it built like this it doesn't allow you to upgrade the attributes that you want to upgrade that's not good in my opinion then you do your height and your weight and height might matter i guess maybe but weight doesn't weight doesn't matter in nba live weight does not matter in nba live at all but also on top of that you don't get to choose like your wingspan and stuff like that like i i really feel like those are elementary things. I know nothing is easy to develop in NBA Live or in video games in general. Nothing is easy to develop. I understand that. However, these things matter in basketball, so you really should put some type of focus on these things that truly matter. Height, weight, and wingspan are things that matter realistically. So there's one thing that NBA 2K does that I feel like is the most, I don't know, just dumb thing that I've ever seen in my life. If you lose a game, and you're above a 95 overall you lose some of your overall no matter if you put up 20 points and had an a plus grade you lose your overall that's that's really dumb that's really dumb i don't like that concept but the same thing here when it comes to nba live i'm a 98 overall right now you know why because i have a silver trait equipped if i had all three gold tra gold traits equipped i'd be a 99 now my issue with that is i don't feel like traits should have any part to do with your actual overall your overall should only be your stats that's what your that's what, exactly what your overall should be there should be no if ands or buts about it it should be your stats traits should just enhance those stats and that's all period there's no reason for me to be a 98 right now when i ha if i have everything that i need to have maxed out that's just my opinion also again the way you upgrade your player right now i literally have looks like six or seven things that I was able to upgrade and that's not good that's not good it's not the way that you should have your actual upgrading system it should be each individual there should be finishing left hand finishing right hand dunking left hand dunking right hand uh, you know there should be all types of different different things that you can upgrade like it should be individual categories pull up jumper jumper three-point shot mid-range like there should be like a whole bunch of different categories that determine your overall and that would also make the grind longer for NBA Live because right now you can make yourself a 99 in one day. One day you can make yourself a 99. All you got to do is play the game. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That's super ridiculous, I swear. So in comparison to older videos that I've done, this video was not really as edited as I used to do and that's cool I just kind of wanted to be a little bit more unfiltered and be a little bit more direct with you guys if you like this format make sure you spam up the likes and the comment section please do so again I do stream on twitch though I stream on twitch y'all ask me when I'm coming back to YouTube to stream I'm not I stream on twitch go follow your boy on twitch it will be in the link in the description below 
also i do have other content coming out i do have some 2k content as well as maybe i'll be bringing the nba street series back as well for nba live if you guys still want to see that again comment below like up the video uh, but other than that your boy fly guy i'm out